Hello and welcome to another AnyNode tutorial video. We invite you to sit back and watch as we show you how to use the extensive functions for routing in AnyNode. Different phone number formats can be made compatible with each other and normalized to a uniform format. The manipulation refers only to incoming and outgoing SIP messages and not to the calls themselves. In this tutorial, We'll first introduce the Manipulation Assistant and the Routing Assistant before we show a common routing and manipulation example in practice. The Manipulation Wizard can be invoked in the SIP node menu for the incoming and outgoing manipulations within a node. It can be used to adjust the source and destination number. There are currently three manipulation modes available. Via the prefix and suffix manipulation, a filter is set initially which defines the numbers to which the manipulation should be applied. Prefix denotes the beginning of a phone number. Suffix refers to the digits at the end of the number. With delete leading characters, a number of digits can be determined which should be removed from the beginning of the phone number. Delete trailing characters again refers to the digits starting from the end of the number. Via add prefix, a new prefix is determined, which is set in front of the original number. With add suffix, new digits will be appended to the end of the number. Manipulating using wildcard patterns allows the same variance as discussed above, although not a particular prefix or suffix is used here as a filter. But one may define a flexible filter with predefined wildcard characters. The following wildcard characters are available. 0 through 9 inclusive, a certain digit that must occur within that range. X, any digit between 0 and 9 inclusive. Exclamation point, one or more digits between 0 and 9 inclusive. Question mark applies to none, one, or more repetitions of the previous digit. The plus sign applies to one or more repetitions of the previous digit. If the expression starts with a plus sign, this character is not interpreted as a wildcard, but as a plus sign. Period. All previous digits are discarded. The digits after the point are applied. Slash plus sign applies to the plus character. Square brackets. Hereby, a numeric range is specified. For example, 135. Any of the digits in this range satisfies the condition. Instead of single digits, a range can be specified, for example, 3 through 5. To reverse the meaning of the filter and eliminate the digits, the following syntax is used, up arrow 1 through 3. The cut extension number option can be used with Microsoft Skype for Business installations in order to remove the custom extension information. All three manipulation wizard variants end with the dialog dial string processing in which it can be determined whether the manipulation should be applied to the source dial string and or the destination dial string. The done option determines whether the number manipulation should end after this rule or if the following rules will also be processed. Next, let's take a closer look at the routing assistant. Any node's routing domains allow a variety of ways to respond to incoming calls. The route wizard starts with the query for the filter. That will be desirable in most cases. If no filter is desired, unconditional routing can be selected and the filter input is skipped. If no filter is defined, this route is taken unconditionally if all previous routes do not apply. The route wizard begins with a query whether a filter should be applied to the rule. This will be required in most cases. Accordingly, use filter is selected here. Then in a new window, several ways of filtering are available. Calls can be routed based on the source node, source dial string, destination dial string, 
the first diversion number, the last diversion number, and the transfer or dial string. If lookup directories is selected, it can be checked if the source or destination number exists in a directory. At conditions, already stored special hardware conditions such as CPU load or random access memory can be selected as a route filter. These are only available if they have already been created under conditions in the main tree. In the source nodes filter, all already configured nodes are available. The desired nodes can be moved with the arrow keys to the selection on the right part of the window. Source and destination dial string can be defined each with a wizard. You can try to match a dial string in different ways. Here, the following options are available. Match always, the condition always applies. Match never, the condition never applies. Match prefix and suffix to define phone numbers based on the digits at the beginning or end of the number. Match wildcard pattern, explained previously, and extension range, a specific range of phone numbers. After the filter conditions have been created, the actual action is defined as a third step, which is to be executed by this rule. The following actions can be selected. Route call to connect the call via another node. Reject call, actively reject the call. Establish parallel call, call several numbers at the same time. Redirect call and ignore call. Further parameters may be defined for each action. Route call. Here, the node is selected over which the call should be connected. Furthermore, there are routing forward profiles to choose from, which determine how the media of the two calls are to be connected. Finally, the source and destination number can be adjusted in the dial string rewriting. We recommend to do this here only in exceptional cases and instead to do the manipulation in the nodes directly. Therefore, we will skip the dial string rewriting here. Reject call. A cause code may be defined, which is signaled to the calling party upon rejection of a call by any node. Establish parallel calls. First, the desired amount of parallel calls is added to the list. Then, for each entry, the single target numbers are set. The procedure corresponds to the manipulation of numbers on the node level. Redirect call. This parameter specifies the destination of the call diversion. A new destination number can be created based on the source or destination number. Example, an incoming call to 1234 is to be redirected to 4567. In this case, the digits 1234 could be removed and replaced with the prefix 4567. Ignore call. Since this option totally ignores any further actions on this call, no further parameters are necessary. We would like to perform our practical example with a typical constellation between a VoIP provider, a conventional PBX with internal extensions, Skype for Business with E164 numbers, and any node as a mediation authority among the devices. We would like to point out that in this example, we do not consider emergency numbers for the sake of simplicity. Our PBX user only dials 10 digits for a national call. We skip the 11 digits option dialing a one for national calls outside your area code. In our example, the provider uses the international telephone numbering plan E164 without a plus sign. That ensures each device on the PSTN has a globally unique number with a country code, national destination code, and subscriber number. We recommend that you transfer everything to the internationalized E164 format with a plus sign as an optimal procedure and best practice before routing. After routing, the manipulations are set so that the remote station to be called understands the format. The manipulation direction incoming and outgoing is always related to any node. For incoming calls, the source and destination telephone number is converted from the provider's format to the internationalized E164 format here. 
Microsoft Skype for Business uses numbers in the international E-164 format, while the PBX is not compatible with the E-164 format and supports only the exchange number with the individual number and only supplies the exchange number with the individual number to any node. In the PBX node, the manipulation for the sender ID for the outgoing manipulations would look like this, so that the PBX is compatible with it. Calls from abroad, here for example Germany, would be displayed on the terminals with PBX compatible sender identification. An attempt is made in the routing domain to find a route that matches the criteria of the incoming call. The graphic shows three routes. It is checked whether the destination dial string fits and then the establishment is carried out with the action. Route the call to the corresponding node. The advantage of routing using the destination dial string is that users of the PBX can also call Skype for business users and vice versa. In our example, the call comes from the provider and the destination dial string was chosen by the Skype for Business subscriber, so Route 1 is taken and the call is routed to the Skype for Business subscriber. Now we want to implement our practice example in the AnyNode front end. We begin with the entry of the manipulations. We go into the node of the VoIP provider and start the wizard at the incoming SIP messages. We want to do a prefix and suffix manipulation and say that a plus sign is to be added. The manipulation should apply to the destination and source dial string and the call number manipulation should end according to this rule. Click on finish to enter the manipulation. With the same procedure, we determine in the outgoing SIP messages now that dial strings are converted back into the format compatible with the provider and in this case, a plus sign should be deleted. We change the numbers in the PBX node to the format which is compatible for the PBX and compatible to E164 format on the other side. We start with the incoming SIP messages and we also perform a prefix and suffix manipulation here. The first rule is for international calls from the PBX. When the user dials a 011 for an international call, this shall be deleted and a plus is added. All rules are valid for the destination and source dial strings. The second rule is for national calls from the PBX and here we use wildcard pattern. If the user dials a 10-digit number for a national call, a plus one is added. At this point, we skip the other option, dialing 11 digits with a one for national calls outside your area code for the sake of simplicity. The third rule is for local calls from the PBX, and here we also use wildcard pattern. If the user dials a seven-digit number, the prefix plus one three one two is added. For the outgoing manipulations in the PBX node, the rules are as follows. The first rule is for local calls. A dial string with leading characters plus one three one two is deleted. Again, all rules are valid for the destination and source dial strings. The second rule is for national calls. The prefix plus one is deleted. The third rule is for international calls. A plus is deleted and the prefix 011 is added. The rules are processed from top to bottom. If a condition arises, the rule will be accomplished. Afterwards, please remember to save the configuration by clicking on the commit button. Let's take a look at how we create route one in the routing assistant. We set the destination dial string now. The match type should be prefix and suffix, and the suffix 1213 is a Skype for Business user. 
Now we can click on Finish. The establishment sets the action now, Route Call. The destination node is Skype for Business. We do not need the rest and can click on Finish at this point. In Route 2, we proceed in a similar way and specify 1212 as a suffix in the destination dial string and that the call should be routed to the PBX. The third route should be taken if the first two routes do not apply. So if the call comes from the PBX or from Skype for Business, the call is then routed to the VoIP provider. Again, please remember to save the configuration by, again, clicking on Commit. To check the configuration and manipulations, we can take a quick look at Monitor Mode. We see here that the call came in from the PBX and converted to the E164 format and then routed to Skype for Business. Of course, the Skype for Business user could also call the PBX user. This is a great thing. This brings us to the end of our video now, and we thank you very much for your time and attention, and have a wonderful day.